The future of Cambridge is really something that obviously matters personally to me. Um, as Polly said, I came here when I was three months old. I grew up here. Um, I essentially lived here my whole life. Um, so I've seen the changes that have happened, the good things and the bad things, at every step along that way. I've also had a bit more involvement in trying to direct it um, since we and the Liberal Democrats took control of the City Council in 2000. So we've had 10 years so far of trying to develop Cambridge. Uh, we've improved the recycling rate from uh, single-digit percentages to uh, almost 50%. We've improved the energy efficiency of homes by about 40%. Uh, we've made a real difference here. I could, I could go on about that list. And Cambridge is, of course, a very special city. It's a city of learning. We have two great universities here. It's a high-tech city. It really is a unique city. And that means that we can do things here which will be harder elsewhere. Let's take, for example, the idea of green jobs. <laughs> There's a view held in many places. You can either look after the environment or you can look after the economy. And I think it's just simply not the case you can have one or the other. And here in Cambridge, we are very well placed to do both. We're very, very well placed with the spin-outs that are happening to have a real economy driven by environmentally sustainable uh, manufacture, ideas, design, the whole range of things. This is something which we can do and lead on nationally and internationally. That's very special. We're also very fortunate in Cambridge to have people who are committed, who care about this wonderful city. Some of them are here. I can see all of you deciding to give up an evening in order to come here and talk about it. That's something rare. I stood for Parliament at the last election. We didn't have anything like that there. And we see this through uh, the Transition Town initiatives, uh, through a whole range of, of things that are happening. That also means that we can have formal processes, the City Council, the County Council, trying to do things, more the city than the county, and informal processes, people just doing things locally. A real partnership. Now there are other things in Cambridge which, which cause us problems. I spent a while uh, trying to find somewhere to, to live here, and there's a clear housing shortage in Cambridge. It is too expensive for most people to live in most parts of Cambridge, and people are very clearly being driven out of the city. We have to do something about that. We have to provide housing near Cambridge. And I think what we need is a compact city. The policies in the past have been to have housing further afield, in the surrounding villages and even further away. And that's one of the things which has led to the traffic problems that we have now. Because if people live a long way away, they drive in. We need housing locally so that people have other alternatives. And we have to have the right sort of housing. David Howarth, uh, the current MP here, and uh, a very good uh, Liberal Democrat MP, has been fighting nationally to give us more planning powers towards environmentally sustainable housing um, and more affordable housing. And here in Cambridge, we're delivering um, over 40% affordable housing in many sites. And in the northwest of Cambridge, the university site, we're uh, ensuring that 3,000 houses will be built to Sustainability Code 5. Now, you may not know what Code 5 is, but it means that these are houses that will be 100% energy efficient. 3,000 homes demonstrating that can be done in Cambridge. We also have to look at transport. We need cleaner, greener techniques. I spent a lot of my political life campaigning for improved public transport, cycling and walking. We have to provide that. We also have to make cars and other forms of transport better for the environment uh, and relieve the congestion as well. And we need to think about well-being. We need to think about happiness. So my vision for Cambridge in 2020 is that we should have a city where people want to be here, to live, work and study here. We want a city that's in harmony with its environment, not depleting resources unnecessarily. And we want a city right at the forefront of new technologies, green jobs, research, right at that forefront, nationally and internationally. Thank you.